Good morning. This is Greg at the Pocatello National Weather Service office with the Eastern Idaho planning briefing for Saturday, November 7th. First we'll go over the weather impact summary. Uh, we're going to have one more warm day today with low elevations again approaching 70 degrees. Uh, we're going to have a major pattern change though beginning around sunset and continuing uh, through most of next week. Uh, we're going to have a strong cold front move through Idaho, and we're going to have some snow move into the mountains this evening and continuing through Sunday. And we're going to have a lot of snow-covered rows, especially over mountain passes, uh, later tonight through the day on Sunday. Uh, everything is probably going to start as rain, even in the mountains, early today, and then everything's going to turn over to snow. And even uh, valley floors, Snake River Plain, will turn over to snow by Sunday morning. And we do have a winter weather advisory out with the snow expected. Uh, again, includes Ketchum, Stanley, up through Chalice, and then over in the Upper Snake Highlands from Dubois through Island Park. And then the Idaho Wasatch, high elevations there. Uh, we'll also uh, get some decent snow amounts, generally three to seven inches. Uh, some of the higher elevations may get up to 10 inches, so. Again, one of the first uh, significant snowfalls of the season. Uh, looking at the satellite imagery, main feature is this circulation low pressure off the California coast, and we are getting lots of moisture and pushing it on southerly flow ahead of that, and this low is going to continue to push east through the day and overnight, and eventually that's going to drag through the cold front. But again, very warm ahead of the front today. We'll also see some Pretty strong southerly winds, 15 to 25 miles per hour, strongest mainly in the Snake River Plain. Uh, looking at the weather impact overview, again mainly rain with the onset of precipitation this afternoon, uh, even in the central mountains, eastern highlands, but again expect a turnover to snow in the mountains overnight. And then by Sunday morning, snow everywhere. Uh, expecting moderate impacts in the advisory areas tonight and Sunday, Eastern Highlands, the Sawtooth area, Lemhi County, and with uh, minimal impacts elsewhere on Sunday. And then we're going to stay in cold weather, uh, some light eastern mountain snow Sunday, not expecting any impacts. And then we could add some impacts with the second system moving in Tuesday and Wednesday, again mainly the eastern highlands and the southern and southeast highlands will be the main areas impacted uh, with the light snow Tuesday and Wednesday. But again, everyone will likely see at least some light snow with that system Tuesday and Wednesday. And here we show the high temperatures today. Again, very, very warm, mid to upper 60s in the low elevations, generally 50s in the mountains as the temperatures, again, get very warm ahead of the cold front. Uh, again, the cold front will move through tonight. Here's the expected snow amounts overnight. Again, generally two to four inches in the mountains. Again, locally, six to eight. And again, that two to four runs from Stanley east through Spencer Dubois Island Park. And then one to three inches in the eastern highlands. Uh, low temperatures by Sunday morning, generally in the teens and 20s in the central mountains. And everyone should drop below freezing overnight tonight or very early Sunday morning and much colder high temperatures on Sunday. Uh, everyone not getting out of the 30s and even some mid to upper 20s high elevations of the mountains. And the snow amount forecast during the day Sunday again generally two to four inches across the central mountains uh, possibly three to six in the eastern highlands island park area towards Teton Pass and one to three inches generally in the southern highlands, the Snake River Plain a half inch, possibly up to two inches. Again, low confidence in the Snake River Plain snowfall amounts. Again, a lot of it will depend on how quickly the cold air moves in. But again, some areas could see up to an inch and even two inches. And high temperatures Monday, most areas staying below freezing. So it looks like like I said, today's going to be the last day we're getting into a long period of colder than normal temperatures beginning on Sunday. And here's a look at the 8 to 14 day outlook. 
And right now they're forecasting a much better chance of Idaho to stay in that below normal temperature regime and also above normal precipitation. Again, better chances of above normal. So again, we're getting into it looks like a fairly extended period of wintry type weather. So again, summing up the weather impacts again, again, one more warm day today ahead of the cold front. Some areas may get around 70 degrees. And then the cold front moves through tonight and rain will change to snow everywhere. And we are expecting some decent accumulations, central mountains into the upper snake and eastern highlands, three to seven inches generally, locally higher amounts over some of the mountain passes. And by Sunday, light snow will be possible even at the lowest elevations in the Snake River Plain where you could see a bit of light accumulation. That will conclude today's briefing. If you have any questions, call us at the number listed here 24 hours a day or visit our website. Thank you and everyone have a nice day.